family good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning uh today is the 8th of january it is 8 58 in the a.m and family um first let me get my little lips together Okay. Bill Burt Speeds. I just got out of the shower and cleansed my skin very, very well um, um, with my Clarisonic. Um, one thing I am going to do, family, is I'm going to, um, once I get uh, Miss Cannon going, um, I'm going to do a full get down on my skin regimen what i use i'm also going to do a compare and contrast from the clarisonic the pro the pro sonic and um and then my um my olay and then the handheld so i'm going to do a compare and contrast of all of those we're going to do it all the way on film we're going to try it i'm going to do one here 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 you know like that and um as soon as I can get that camera up and going, right. Um, but I had to come on right quick and talk about last night. Y'all, I'm so, I'm, I'm so, I'm still kind of low-key tired, okay? Family, for those of you guys that did not join us on Blog TV last night, family, I think we started Blog TV about, I want to say about 4 o'clock. We didn't get up 4 o'clock California time, okay? And we didn't get off of blog TV until 1 o'clock California time. I ain't doing it. Y'all ain't finna get me on that. I ain't finna do none of that. None of that, none of that. We gotta come up with a plan. Now, Salima, I thank you. Uh, Beat Face. Uh, Danella, I, I... I, I appreciate all y'all because y'all was kicking the trolls out. We had trolls coming in. It was just so fun. It was really, really fun. I had people on there from China, Israel, Canada, two Australians from Australia. Like, they were talking to me. I was like, what time is it? And last night it had to be, say, because I think Wendy was on. So, Wendy camp comes on BET like 9 o'clock. So, it was somewhere around that time. And um, my little Australian kind of power kicked in and said, well, I'm in Australia and it's 6.30. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> Y'all, we had so much fun. Oh, my God. I met some really, really cool people. We exchanged uh, numbers. We... You know, uh, exchange Ubu and 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 uh, Skype and all that kinds of stuff. I mean, it was just fun. Um, I shared a lot of different things uh, with you guys, and we're gonna leave all that on Blog TV. Um, my brother uh, did an appearance. He called in. Believe it or not, how I mean, how ironic is that? We sitting up talking about all kinds of other shit, and then all of a sudden, boom, my brother calls, and so. You know, so I had to handle that and, and all that, and that was okay. And so, family, I just appreciate y'all. Oh, my God, we had we had fun. I mean, we had fun. Uh, Serenthia212, y'all, she's getting her gastric bypass surgery next month. And Serenthia and her twin sister, Cynthia, um, have been, well, especially Cynthia, from the time I stepped upon this platform, um, she's always been 100. She's never ever changed. She always kept it 100 real. She, um, you know, it is what it is, you know. And, you know, it's like it's about my kids over here and this one I'm doing right here and I'm trying to. And she was so diligent. You know, she went to every appointment and meeting. I remember watching videos back in 2010 
And so um, she was at the bus stop one day, and she's like, it's cold out here in New York, but I got my appointment because I'm getting this gastric bypass surgery. I'm tired of being heavy. And it was just something, her diligence about that. And she, she, she just showed so much strength to me. And for that, I'm just, I'm just in awe. And now to see her dream become a reality now, and she's able to go on to this next step, she worked hard for this. You know, it wasn't given. She worked hard for this. And I am just, I'm like, wow. And for those of us, I'm one that was given. You know, and so, you know, you can't do nothing but bow down to the ones that's on some old, I'm going to, you know, I got to uh, get on the treadmill and do the heart test on this day. I got an MRI, whoop the whoop on that day. I got a psychological. Man, because... The shit that they put you through to get that is low-key ridiculous. I mean, I mean, but I understand, though. I do understand why they put you through so many things and all that kind of stuff. I do understand that. And so, uh, but it's coming, it's all coming all around. Girl, you're going to have a badass summer, I promise you. And when I come to New York City, you really think I'm bullshitting. When I come to New York City, I am looking for you and Cynthia. It's, it's, it's a few people I'm looking for when I get to New York City because I definitely want to hang out with Helen. Um, I, it's just a few people that I'm just really, really, you know, when I, when I, get, to, uh, when I get to D.C., Danella, I'm looking for your ass. Cause see, you know, I was, you know, I ain't coming to the inauguration. Now, I told you that last night. I ain't coming to the inauguration as just as we talked about it on Facebook and all that. I'm not gonna go this time, you know. Uh, and so after this time, ain't no telling when it's gonna be a next time, you know. But still, you know, I enjoyed that time. But I do want to come to DC, you know, on some other shit when it done warmed up a little bit. Um, you know, cause I couldn't do the cold. I couldn't do the cold. I couldn't do the cold. So, um, I want to go on, I want to go on a tour and I, you know, I was invited to Australia last night, you know, come to Australia. Um, you know, you got a place to stay, whoop, 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 and you do, 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 and you know, and this, this, this. I even had somebody tell me that her and her sister is coming to Cali and when they come to Cali, they want to, you know, go and have lunch and shit with me. And I was like, hell yeah, shit, I'm taking y'all all, all uh, where you want to go? You know, we can go to the old Golden Bird. They got a couple of them still. Um, there's a few catfish spots, you know, you buy we fry spot, you know what I'm saying? They sell everything from catfish to sand dab, buffalo, all that old type of shit. Uh, red snap, I'm a filet of soul chick, you know. But they sell frog legs and all that kind of shit, you know. Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's a few, uh, it's a gang of, uh, you buy we fry spots that I probably, uh, you know, so I don't know, depending on how many days y'all here or whatever. We, um, talked about meat, meats and greets and all that kind of stuff. One of my girls let me know that she is making it a point to get to, um, to Essence Music Festival this year. And so, girl, you already know I'm there, mama. I'm there, like clockwork, like, wait for it, wait for it. I am there. Every year that is my spot that is a staple in my life and i'm there um so we just had a good time last night it was it was a, it was good it was really really good so it comes today so i do have a 60 minute full body today um so i'm kind of excited about that that's why i got up took me a shower and all that kind of stuff. I got to go and buy Isaiah some pants and underwear and socks and all that stuff because all that burned in the fire. So he only had what was ever was dirty. The rest of the shit that was in his whole chest of drawers just burnt to the ground. Chris, nothing. Okay. What I was pulling out was basically the frame and shit and smoldering socks and shit like that that was in there that was still, you know, smoldering. So. Um, I need to go get my baby tightened up today, so I'm going to go do that. Um, I just hung up with Glenda, and so she was like, okay, we need to go down your to-do list, uh, for 2013, and you need to get, you need to start on two of those things this month. So let me get my list, because I'm going to tell y'all what my list is. Hold on. Ooh, that was good. 
good as hell. Hell yeah. Okay, where is my list? Hold on, family. Okay. For 2013. Okay. Oh, you guys like my new dude? Um, shout out to one of my girls. She sent me four units. Well, you know, um, I don't want to go no further, but I did leave it on my Facebook. I had, um, you know, one of my girls that was like, well, look, check this out. I got you. So, uh, yeah, so I got four units yesterday, and this is one of them. And so I kind of teased it out, you know, because I like big hair. Y'all know how I like it, um, you know. So I just did one of these ones to it, and I like it. I give a shit what you're going through. This is my shit, okay? And then don't sleep, because Salima, check this out. Let me show you what. Salima, this is for my girl Salima. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. This is my little portable makeup kit. You know, and you know, Salima, when I tell you, when you bust up and you said, you know, my little makeup that I have is just so little, you were like saying that you don't have a whole gang of makeup. You just, because your face be bad as a motherfucker. If I could, look, check this out. If I can get half of your skill, a smidget of, uh, of a creative diva, and a dash of Joe Day, I'll be a bad motherfucker when it comes down to them brushes. I don't know how y'all niggas is doing. I don't know how y'all doing it. I don't know what colors go with what. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm not knowing about all that. You know, and I guess that's one reason why I don't wear makeup like that. Because... I wear makeup when I'm getting ready to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Give me some gloss and I'm gone. I'm cool. You know, this right here, these kind of shits, all day long. I guess this is the reason why I, you know, you know well, I had to get my eyebrows done because I really don't grow no hair. You know, I have to wear eyelashes because I don't really grow any of those. And the little ones that I had, you know, them little whiskers was plucked out with, you know, the um, eyelash extensions. So I got to wear eyelashes, so otherwise I'm really looking like I'm, you know, laying at a loss. So I got to, you know, do that right there. And then I got the little um, eyeliner and shit, but I got my eyeliner subtle to where it still make it seem like I'm wide awake. But, you know, it's like, damn, you know, is, does she got eyeliner on or not? You know, I didn't want it real, real dark and real, real thick and shit. I just wanted it good enough to wear as, you know, in the morning times, I wash my face, I wash and go. I want to be a, I'm a wash and go type of chick. Now, when I call myself trying to be cute, you know, when I call myself getting ready to go somewhere and I'm to call myself being cute, then that is when, you know, I go through the whole model and mantra or whatever of putting on makeup and all that. But I just, ooh. And then, like I was telling y'all last night, in the summertime here, it gets like 110, 115. You know, and I've seen chicks with, you know, beads of sweat, all this right here, wet and all. And if you got all of this rouge and shit on, your shit is just dripping down and it's looking real crazy. Like, I done seen it. So after I done seen it, I'm like, you know what? No, I don't want that look right there, dog. I'm cool. So ever since then, you know, I was like, but you know, I've never been a real makeup girl anyway. I've never been a, a high makeup maintenance chick like that. Um, I did do nails a little bit, but not too tough. Um, you know, I like all that shit that y'all do. I really, really like it, but, you know, does that mean that I ain't in the club because I don't wear that shit every day? I mean, I done seen one motherfucker with some goddamn nails look like some damn duck fins and shit. I said, oh, shit, no. There's got to be a time when to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And I was looking at these motherfucking nails, and they fanned out. I said, oh, shit, is this the new shit? Now, I remember back in the day when we was wearing claw nails and shit. That was in the 80s and the 90s. No, that was in the 80s. In the beginning of the 90s. 
in LA, yeah, we were doing double tips, curved over, and it was like, nigga, boop, because this whole curve is coming up here telling your ass, come here, nigga, because this motherfucker right here is curling right the fuck up, and when I just do one of them, nigga, it's already saying, boop, come here, nigga, boop, yeah, but I don't even think they're doing the curve nails anymore. Are y'all doing the curved ones anymore? Is that not the link no more? That ain't the business? I don't know. But uh, for me, this is my shit right here. This is what the fuck I work with. Now, if anything, I'll put some snap-ons right quick to roll with that. You know, like I did that a few months back because they was like, you know, we need to put something on. Okay, fine. Go on and snap me on some. And, you know, then... And even them little snap-ons got me fucked up because I still got ridges and shit in my shit, even from them. And I don't like it. I'm still looking at my shit like, you know what, that was some bullshit. But it's all right. It was part of the game. Anyway, <clears throat> Salima and to everybody else that this applies or whoever else is <laughs> whatever. Uh... Bam. Now, um, it was so much controversy about this. I don't want to shed light about it because I just felt like it was, you know, it's like, why? You know what I mean? Um, why, um, you know, and because, you know, I don't, you know, I, my point is not to get into the controversy on YouTube. I don't want to. But I understand where the young lady was going and I appreciate that. You know, to put some people, because hell, I should have bought it too, because in there for shit. You know, all this right here going to take a long motherfucking time to use this right here. It's going to take a long fucking time to use all this right here, because I used some of this the other day. Now, let me tell you the way I did mine, Salima, because, okay, this is my little, this is my little carrying case that I have. It's usually at Kenny's house, but I had brought it home on New Year's, you know, for, you know, to do something to my face. So when I go, you know, to the game and such, well... Let me show you, um, okay, the primer that I use on my makeup and shit is, um, this Olay CoverGirl, this is my primer, um, I was using another primer by Maybelline, but my face is so sensitive, um, and I'm allergic to a lot of things, you know, I, I'm, you know, I, you know, I can't get down with latex and shit like that. And so, um, but this, this serum primer right here is the business. So, yeah, so this is the one, but Salima, um, y'all can stay in the room if y'all want to, because I'm just talking to Salima for a second, but I use photo ready, photo ready concealer. This is, this is um, the one that I use, and it's called, and it's number 900. Let me see. Let me try to do it, because I got to do it like y'all be doing it. I'm trying to step up my game, okay? Because y'all be doing shit like this right here. Bam. Wait, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Diva life. I'm going to need you to be slow down, because I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, do how y'all be doing it and shit. Okay, right here like this, right here. Okay. I gotta bring it up some. Okay. Now, this right, this. Okay. Because y'all gotta see the front, huh? Okay, this is the front right here. It's called number 900 in deep. Okay. That right there. Okay. Now you, yeah, like that. Okay, this, this right here. Is that good enough? Like that? Is that what? Right? Okay. That's the one that I use right here. And I love, love, love it. Um,. I don't use any other concealer but this one. But when I use my concealer and I used a little bit of this right here, I didn't use a lot because I was like, okay, I don't know what the fuck it's going to do. This color right here don't go with me. You know what I mean? And I was like, um, hmm. So what I did was I just took a little brush like this right here. See, I don't know my brushes. I don't know Sigma and all them that y'all be rolling with and all that other kind of... Give me the twelve dollar uh, package with like twelve of them motherfuckers. I done seen that shit on Living Social and all that. And you get like twelve or eighteen motherfucking brushes for fifteen dollars. See, I you know, I, I don't wanna be cheap about it, but I don't know brushes like y'all know brushes. Cause see y'all be knowing the numbers and shit like this one right here. This is Essence of Beauty. Okay, why okay, check this out. Wide eyeshadow and smoky. Okay. Now, whichever one do the smoky, 
I don't know, but that's the one that I did this right here. Let me show you what the fuck I did. I did this right here, and I'm kind of pissed off because my daughter took the whole sticker off, and I didn't want the whole sticker off. I just wanted to, you know, bust a couple of holes in and do it like that because when the whole sticker is off, it, it gave me too much powder out. So I just, you know, hit this um, like that, boo-boo, and I just pat it up under my eye like that. Was I right or wrong? I don't know if that was right or wrong, but that's the way I did mine. So when I saw, and I did it on top of, I did it on top of my photo ready and up under my full, you know, face powder. Now, let me show you my face powder because see, Brian, now I don't, I don't need you to come for me, okay? Now, me and you was good. I was talking about you last night, talking about how fine you was and shit. So I don't need you, you know, making fun of your motherfucking partner. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't ready. I ain't, I ain't getting shit imported from Italy and France and all that kind of shit like you. This this dude be on some. This right here came from Russia. And this is whoop de whoop whoop. No. Now, see, I rode with you the last time because I'm still on my Imani shit. I'm still on my uh, Iman, okay? I'm still on my Iman shit because, see, uh, what was it? Last year, Brian? Was it last year, Brian? I don't remember. But whatever year it was, I'm still with it. And you see my shit is still full. Brian did a thing on Iman, okay, family. I'm going to ask that y'all go back in his videos called SP Nation. Last night, I was also asking what does SP stand I was like, what does SP stand for? And somebody said, wait a minute, what did they say? Sexy puto. No, sexy puto. Sexy puto? Puto. I don't, it was something like that. Because I was like, what does that mean? Now, let me go Let me go on and make this crystal clear. 